Deteriorating highways, transit systems in need of repair, unsafe water systems, bridges actually collapsing. America's aging infrastructure is putting lives in danger, hurting businesses, and jeopardizing our future. The need to fix the nation has had bipartisan political support for years, but solutions for funding it have yet to materialize. We all know that deficient bridges, uh, lack of uh, 21st century facilities for commerce, uh, roads, airports, hospitals, schools. The debate on the state of our infrastructure is over. Wherever the debate leads, it's clear that funding from federal, state, and local governments won't be enough to fix America. There is an estimate of $2 trillion 10-year funding gap here in U.S. infrastructure. Um, bonds alone won't correct that. Obviously, this is a place where private capital can come in and really create some real value. With over half a trillion dollars in assets, the pension funds of North America's Building Trades members are ready to take the lead and invest in America, generating a competitive return and creating good jobs for our members. Now it's time for our trustees to be more aggressive in holding the professionals to account on what's in the long-range best interest of the participants of the fund and the job opportunities of the people who work under the auspices of our collective bargaining agreements. The Building Trades Capital Strategies Program was established to facilitate a more active partnership between North America's building trades unions and pension fund trustees, administrators, advisors, and managers to find financially sound investments in commercial, residential, and infrastructure projects. These create job opportunities for current and future members. An infrastructure investment can be a 20, 30 year investment. So think about when a uh, new uh, apprentice joins the apprenticeship program all the way till they retire. That infrastructure investment can match their lifespan, their work span. Investing in construction and workers is not new for unions. It started in the 1960s when the Housing Investment Trust used pension assets to ease economic inequality. Those projects created almost 70,000 on-site union jobs, but they created, in total, 150,000 jobs directly related to the investment. And then when you put multiplier effects on that, it turns into a $22 billion impact. To this day, the Housing Investment Trust is a catalyst for capital throughout the country. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, their $35 million investment is helping rehabilitate a dilapidated factory off the I-95 corridor into new affordable apartments. The project created hundreds of local construction and trade jobs. This project could not have been done without HIT. They were more than just lenders to us. They were true partners, problem solvers. For a lot of our union members to work in a city that they grew up in, um, that they still live in, and put money back into the community, I believe they're, they're tremendously happy. This project will be going on for the next seven years. So it's not just what's happening today, but we're actually building jobs for seven years from now for our community, and we're building homes, we're building schools, we're building a safe place, a new community for people to live. Over the last 30 years, building trades funds have learned a lot from investing in real estate. We've learned to be very careful about the managers we work with, We've learned to make sure we have the right policies in place. Pension investments with the right policies and values are also helping to revitalize construction in Cleveland, Ohio. The Capital Strategies Program has really transformed the way we're doing business here in Cleveland. We've educated people, we've let them know that we can help them this way, 
And we are now getting calls from developers on a weekly basis saying, hey, can you talk to these guys for us? We need some help financing these projects. You look at the fact that you're getting a competent workforce that's able to build a project that really is a legacy that's going to be beyond just our generation. And then we found, yes, we were able to take you know, this model. We were able to do it with union wages. To lead the capital strategies charge, pension trustees need to be active, have a seat at the table, and a strong voice. We hire the consultants for their advice, but they have to understand at least the what's in the DNA of the trustees as far as their will and wishes, how they want their money invested. Is it invested sadly? Are we getting a good uh, return? Are we paying the right fees? To help trustees know what they own, the Building Trades borrowed a page from Lyona and created an investment database for unions to map where their pension money is invested. We have over 80 defined benefit multi-employer pension funds in Lyona uh, with assets over $50 billion. That's real money and that's real power. We need to be able to map that power, to know where we're putting our members' retirement security, be able to talk to corporate America about their labor policies, to talk about the advantages and benefits of responsible contractor policies, and how we create good middle-class jobs with good benefits by the money that we have invested in Wall Street all across this country. It's a much more powerful piece of information to know across all sheet metal funds what holdings we have or what investments we have. Other responsibilities of trustees and managers include promoting responsible investments, such as project labor agreements and responsible contracting policies. With the PLA in place, more than 1,500 union workers were part of the $8 billion LaGuardia Airport redevelopment of Terminal B. The New York City Employees Retirement System and the New York Common Retirement Fund we're also the first in the nation to create a responsible contractor policy for real estate and infrastructure that covers both projects where they are the majority owner along with deals where they are a minority investor. We have an expectation uh, that the money will go to contractors, subcontractors uh, that are uh, ad adhering to basic uh, sound concepts of labor management, paying workers fairly, worker safety, worker training. So this is a great balance between pushing investment to grow our pension fund, but also making sure we protect workers and we recognize prevailing wage and an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. We want to bring this policy national. We want every uh, pension fund around the country to adopt this policy that will go so far to help uh, the men and women who are building America. We had a seat at the table. All the way through the conversations and negotiations with the pension funds and with the controllers, uh, we made our issues very, very clear to them, and they were responsible contracting issues. The Capital Strategies Program is also pursuing partnerships with major Wall Street investment funds, such as the Carlyle Group. Grosvenor, and Blackstone. With a dedicated $40 billion infrastructure fund, Blackstone has adopted a responsible contractor policy, setting the bar for other investments. We genuinely believe that a well-trained and fairly compensated workforce is critical to high-quality infrastructure investment. Um, as a result, one of the first things that we did was engage the NABTU in order to set forth the responsible contractor policy. Ulico's first infrastructure investment deal was a 30-year concession with the city of Rialto, California to outsource and upgrade the city's water and wastewater services. The improvements would produce hundreds of jobs for members of the local building and construction trades. It's a kind of a perfect example of how having a strong responsible contractor policy is something that is upfront in our investment process. All our partners know, all our operating partners, all our investment partners, and our municipal counterparties know it, and they care about it, and that's why we're here. It's uh, real exciting times for us, not only for financial stability and my family's future, but 
for an operator here, I don't, I won't be retiring for 20 more years. So this is a great opportunity for me to be part of this project. Investing in long-term infrastructure projects will also ensure that the building trades continue to train its members and grow its ranks through its 1,600 training centers and through its apprenticeship readiness programs. As long as we do our job in making sure that our folks are well-trained and, you know, and uh, well-prepared to be safe on the job and uh, do a good job for our contractors, I don't see any reason why we could not continue on for as long as we want. I feel like all the history behind a union is the most beautiful thing. So I'm very proud to be in Local 433, without a doubt. No one disagrees that the time to invest in our nation's infrastructure is now. The building trades have long been advocating for massive federal investment in infrastructure. We will contribute our assets, and private capital will be there too. But our federal government needs to invest in America's future, and the future of American workers. It takes federal money and state money and local money, but also you can put private money uh, with a responsible contractor policy into the mix which allows those cities or states to rebuild their infrastructure and pay their pensions. The rank and file is motivated, they are, feel empowered, uh, and they feel that they have a stake in their own futures. It's time to invest in every man, woman, and child who's in a building trades family, putting our resources and our dollars to work, create the job opportunities for them to continue to build the economic upward trajectory for not just our members, but for our members to come. The time is now.